Hello and welcome to the finals of the Chess.com Rapid Chess Championship. In the winner's final, Hikaru Nakamura and Jan Nepomishi faced each other. With the knight moved to f3, the game started with the ready, which is a classic flank opening, and then went into an undefinable queen's pawn game. And so it happened that already on move 6 there was a completely new game on the board. Obviously both players were in a good chess move. The game was absolutely even, and when almost all the pieces were traded off from move 28 to 33, a pawn ending with a knight each and an evaluation of 0.0 remained. But these knights now danced all over the board. On move 36 Nakamura played an incredibly strong move. Instead of capturing back on d4 with his knight, he advanced his own pawn. This eventually allowed him to capture on a5 and get a passer. And exactly that was the decisive factor, because after the following moves, it was clear that this pawn could no longer be stopped in time and Nepo resigned on move 60. The next game was the Catalan opening, in which white chooses a combination of the queen's gambit and the reti opening, namely the space gaining moves d4 and c4 with g3 to prepare for the king's bishop fianchetto. This mainly puts pressure on the queen side, while hoping to keep the white king safe in the long run. However, the c4 pawn can become vulnerable and white may have to sacrifice it. Already on move 8 the action started, and Nakamura decided to exchange his rook for two pawns and a knight. To then start an attack on the king side with g5 on move 11. But obviously Nepo had this variation in his repertoire for a long time, because he hardly spent any time and played the best moves. And so it happened that on move 22 he brilliantly sacrificed his bishop, which was not to be captured because of the threatening rook attack. In the end, the position was no longer defendable and Nakamura admitted defeat already on move 25 after the following moves, The engine bar showed plus 10 for Nepo. And the game review an impressive 98.2% accuracy. Due to Naka's bid of 7.5 minutes for the Armageddon game, he played with black, and a draw would be sufficient for him to win the match. Nepo started exactly the same way as in the previous game, but Naka played more solidly and this time didn't exchange the rook for the knight and two pawns. The game was close to balanced until move 59 but then Nepo gained a bit of an upper hand, as he was able to get a dangerous passed pawn and keep Naka's king inactive. But Naka fought and tried to get the initiative with the pawn sacrifice on c4. With only a little time left on the clock, Naka tried to checkmate. Nepo, however, had everything under control and was first able to block the path of the black rook, and then completely nullify the threats. Naka then resigned on move 87 with an evaluation of plus 13 for Nepo. But it's not over yet. For the grand final, Nepo is now waiting for the winner between So, Andraken and Nakamura.
If you like the video, please hit the like button below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for the latest chess news and tournament highlight videos. Thanks for watching.